everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and today I am here with a haul of an unboxing video. Um, this is a, a number of new releases from Diamond Art Club's Amazon storefront, and I think all of these may actually, at least at the moment as of the time of this filming, be exclusive to the Amazon store, um, the Amazon storefront for Diamond Art Club. And um, if you haven't checked it out before, particularly if you live in the U.S., because I know outside of the U.S. there aren't always you know the same options available on amazon unfortunately they've said that's due to logistics um but check it out because like i said they have a lot of exclusives and they all tend to be these really nice little snack size kits and you guys i am in such a smaller kit phase right now like i am actively moving away from working on a really large kits that when i saw a bunch of new releases drop um over the i think it was over the weekend i I just went a little nuts. I was so excited. There was one kit in particular, and I'll go ahead and tell you it was this one, that as soon as I saw it, it was an absolute must have for me. And then I just was like, okay, let's do a little shopping spree. <laughs> so full disclosure, I did actually, I bought these four. These four were new releases. And then Arctic Fox here, I actually picked up a little while back. Um, it's not a new release on the Amazon storefront, but I just, I haven't actually unboxed it on my channel. So I thought I would include that here in this video. Um, I will link to Diamond our clothes Amazon storefront below in the description box if you want to take a look. Now, really, really quick, interest full disclosure, I am a Diamond Art Club affiliate. They sometimes send me sneak peeks, but um, these I, I bought for myself. I was not asked to buy them. I just, I love these little snack size kits so much. So um, I showed you Sophia, that's by Dragons and Beasties. Then we're gonna look at uh, Midnight Manakaneko from Jeremiah Kettner. And then we have New Moon by uh, Kusing Kiesel. Kuching Kichel. I'm not actually sure you pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Um, and then Peach Mushroom Twilight by Nathaniel Mortensen and Arctic Fox by Rita Kanya. So anyway, these are, these tend to be like really like not only small size kits, but they tend to be round diamonds. They're designed to be very beginner friendly. And all of these I got with prime two day shipping. <laughs> Some were uh, next day, which was you know, you can't beat it, but we're going to take a look at all of these. We're going to start with Sophia, this dragon kit, because that was really the one that was the reason that I really jumped on placing this order. Uh, so again, you're going to have the title and the artist this is from Dragons and Beasties. Uh, it's going to have round diamonds, which all of these are going to have round diamonds. Again, that Amazon storefront is really geared towards um, beginners, and these are pretty budget friendly too. I want to say this was $20 or $25, and um, free shipping because Amazon Prime. The size is 32.8 by 47.9 centimeters, and then all of these uh, that I've gotten have had this sticker on here that I'm sure is just Amazon's kind of barcode system or whatever. So it's going to have a lot of the same branding as you'll see on Diamond Art Club's regular kits you can get through their website. Um, they're just on a much smaller scale. There's pink branding here that you'll see with their round diamond kits. There are instructions on the back for how to diamond paint. You'll also find a beginner video linked below in the description box that I've done if you're curious. Here's your kit contents. And there is a QR code here you can scan for 10% off your purchase. I believe that that is just on the Diamond Art Club website. I don't think you can use that on the Amazon storefront. Um, but, you know, you can still go and shop on the Diamond Art Club website, especially if you're checking out these kits as kind of a beginner diamond painter to see okay are these is diamond painting something you're interested in doing more of then you can hop over to the diamond art club website and um use that coupon code get some bigger kits they do have a rewards program that the the rewards i believe are just exclusive to the kits you get from the diamond art club website my understanding is that you know in the past i've seen for these amazon kits or with store kit bought kits that i think that there's a warranty card that's in here yeah there is so you can register this um, to get the lifetime access to the lifetime warranty the diamond art club offers um, so you just want to be sure you do that and follow the instructions that are on here um, let me pull out everything that's in here so there's our little baby kit <laughs> and then you are going to get a toolkit occasionally with the amazon kits depending on how small they are you may get you might get this toolkit like they did fit in there but there's also a smaller version of the toolkit that's a little bit more basic that they'll sometimes put in the really small kits um, and it might have a little bit less to it but at least you know today i'm going to show you the toolkits that come with 
uh, these particular you know beginner kits so what is included it's very comprehensive i feel like and it's a good toolkit really uh, there is a pen and a squishy the color on these are going to vary you're going to get a bag of baggies you can store your leftover diamonds in those if you like uh, we're also going to get a couple of um, thin plastic multi-placers you can pop those in the end of your pen if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time we have a four placer and a seven placer you also get some pink wax in this little caddy I actually really like diamond art clubs pink wax it is nice quality you just want to make sure you peel back there's a thin plastic film on there you want to make sure you peel back before you try to load up your pen so there is that that should be more enough to get you through your canvas we've got a tray here and this bit here is actually it's a removable tray stopper you can pop in there to help stop the diamonds from sliding out we've also got a roll of washi tape the print on this is going to vary this actually looks like it's going to match this kit color wise which is really fun I'll also have a video linked below that kind of demos how, where, when, and why I use washi tape when it comes to a diamond painting. So you can check that out if you're curious. We've also got a cover minder and the style of this is going to vary. This is really pretty, you guys. Uh, and you can use this to hold back the plastic cover while, you know, while you're diamond painting. So that is your toolkit. You might notice that um, if you've watched you know, other unboxings of Diamond Art Club kits that... Um, Sometimes the toolkits will come with a pair of tweezers, but that is just the case if you get a round, I'm sorry, a square drill diamond painting kit from Diamond Art Club. They do not include tweezers with their round drill kits. You're also going to get this smaller sticker. I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork, um, the artist's name and the title and the stats. Some people will use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you can find something else creative to do with it. Everything else is gonna be included here in this plastic bag or dust cover. And, oh my gosh, yeah, so still the super soft canvas that you can expect from Diamond Art Club kits. Look, I can't. That is so precious and sweet. I, I cannot with how cute this kit is. Stop it. I'm so glad we started with this one. Okay, so if your canvas, like these little canvases, they're wrapped pretty tightly there around the diamonds. You might find that it's not wanting to lay flat right out the gate, but if you roll it backwards like I just did, you can see now it's laying really perfectly flat. No issues really whatsoever. Uh, Diamond Art Club's canvases do have kind of a self-flattening feature to them. So if you were to just kind of leave it and wait, it would lay flat on its own, <laughs> but I like to move things along. You're going to get a pamphlet with some helpful info in it. It has, again, what's included in your kit, a beginner video, a link to the VIP Facebook group, which you can join once you made your first purchase. I'm actually not sure how that works if your first purchase is through the Amazon store, but you know you can contact customer support if you're having trouble joining. Uh, there's step-by-step -step instructions written out for you here, as well as some tips and tricks. Here's yet another discount code. And then there's a mobile app as well, but this is for the Diamond Art Club website specifically. It's not for the Amazon storefront, um, but do get 20% off your first purchase through the app. I also have an affiliate discount code you're welcome to use that you can find a way to stack it if you want off your very first purchase from the Diamond Art Club website. It's for 20% off. It's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. I may make a small commission on that, but that always goes right back into my channel. And like I said, that's just for the Diamond Art Club website itself. So you could, you know, use that for your first purchase on the website, use that 20% off code for your first purchase through the app, and, you know, take advantage of those discount codes, you guys. <laughs> doesn't have to be mine, though. Please, no obligation whatsoever. Genuinely. Uh, there is also going to be a larger sticker sheet. It has the name, again, Sophia by Dragons and Beasties, a spot trait your start and end date and here's a bigger look at that original artwork i just isn't it the sweetest it's so precious i'm a sucker for cute things pretty pastels and dragons so you know that i had to have this kit i just had to this is gonna have round shaped diamonds uh like i said and there's the size and the skew and then over here we have actually have a set of pre-cut sticker labels now this makes the kitting up process goes smoothly because these diamonds come in heat sealed bags so you want to put them either in resealable bags or maybe a storage container of some sort and you can use these stickers to label those and it really makes the process of working on the diamond painting go that much faster 
The color code you see on the right hand side, this is actually from the DMC color code system, which is that's the DMC brand of floss. A couple of exceptions uh, specific to Diamond Art Club's kits though. First, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're going to have two of those in this kit. And then if you look at the end of your color list, you'll sometimes see colors that have a letter at the beginning, like this one has a color with the letter Z at the beginning, and that notes a um, a special kind of diamond called a fairy dust diamond. So I'm going to tell you more about those special diamonds when we're actually looking at the diamonds later. So stay tuned for that. In addition, Diamond Art Club recently started rolling out these, um, these colors that are just specific to Diamond Art Club. The numbers that are in the 6,000s range. Now what they've done is they've noticed that there are some gaps in the colors available in the DMC color code system with diamond paintings. And so because Diamond Art Club makes all their diamonds in house, they have started filling in those gaps. And this is one of those kits. You'll see that those colors that are filling the gaps are in the 6000 series. That's not part of the DMC color code system. Let me take you on a tour of the canvas now. There is their usual branding at the top. Do what makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. And the back is that super, super soft material. And it's really sturdy and malleable. I find that it holds diamonds really well and lays flat really nicely. Um, and they do use poured glue on their canvases as well, which is you know something that is really like a must for the me at this point and it looks like this kit actually does have this newer feature that they've been rolling out their plastic cover has these perforations in it now the sizes of the full size section when it's not you know cropped because we're at the edge here the full size section like you see here is about four by four inches or ten by ten centimeters you can choose not to use the perforated you know feature if you don't want to you can just use the plastic covers you normally have these aren't too flimsy but if you do want to use this and kind of work with these sections you can just lightly tug it and it will split on that perforated edge there and that can you know be a nice convenience we do have a color list over here at the top left as well as over here at the bottom right this just has 24 colors in it it's a nice little beginner friendly kit in that way at the bottom left, we have the thumbnail of the original artwork, the title, the size, and of course, copyright dragons and beasties. So Diamond Art Club does legally license all of the artwork that they use in their diamond painting kits. That means that like in this case, dragons and beasties has both given permission for the use of their artwork and is being fairly compensated for it as well. So you'll find that to be the case with all the Diamond Art Club's kits, whether they're on the Amazon storefront or in their you know website shop, dedicated shop. And that's really important to me because unfortunately art theft is common in the crafting world and I prefer to just buy from shops that are doing right by artists. Here we've got their socials. That's how you can stay up to date with their new releases each week and yet another discount code. And then over here, we've got information about their lifetime warranty. So you want to make sure you register your kit with the included registration card. I believe that said within 30 days of purchase, be sure to check out all the details there. And as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of the kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you run out of diamonds or have any trouble with the canvas or the glue, you can contact them and they will get you taken care of. It looks like this kit has a nice mix of color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is like what we have here. It's a lot of the same color in a small area, blocks of color, if you will. You'll have that color in your tray for a while and be able to multi-place if you like. By contrast, we do have some confetti in this kit. Um, it's, it's not too bad. I'll find a good spot to show you. I think I saw some at the top actually but I like that the printing is really clear. Um, there's little bits of confetti here and some of these color changes, like there, and then up here, there's a little bit. Uh, confetti is when you have, you know, more of like kind of a sprinkling of colors and you won't really be able to multi-place in some of these spots like you have here with the eights and the e's. The nice thing though with um, confetti is that that kind of helps sometimes with the color blending and the shading and can give you some more detail. Um, and this kit does, like I said, have a mix of both, but I feel like has a little bit more in the way of color blocking, which I think is nice for a kit that's geared towards beginners. Let's do a really quick measurement to see if we're true to size. Typically Diamond Art Club kits are, but you know, I like to, I like to double check. We're almost 48 centimeters and we're listed as 47.9. And then measuring tape's giving me trouble here. Um, this way we're at almost 33 centimeters and we're listed as 32.8. So yes, we are true to size there. Now let's take a look at these diamonds. There is a sticker on the front there that tells you what kit these go with, just in case you store these separate from the canvas and outside the box they came in. 
there's this little color spread, just a little wrap of diamonds here. And they do come in these heat sealed baggies, like I said, these are round diamonds. And here's our very first special drill color, Z162, let me zoom you in. So if you take a look at these, these have a really fine glitter coating printed on the top, or sorry, not printed, like brushed on the top almost. Uh, and these just have a really pretty shimmery, glittery effect. It's a nice subtle effect and I actually really love it. These are my favorite special drills that Diamond Art Club carries. So we have this really pretty um, light blue color. And then lots of blues in this one. There's our 6,000 color. Looks like there's kind of a purplish, almost, no, that's blue. There's no purple to that. <laughs> um, so that's our, one of our new filler colors. And Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in house. They are resin and um, they tend to be really twinkly. It's, it's really pretty. You guys, back to back here, we have our two AB colors. Now, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These get their name from the Northern Lights. They have a really gorgeous iridescent coating printed on the, or, why do I keep saying printed? It's just <laughs> stumbling over my words today. Uh, they have an iridescent coating on the top that sparkles like a lot of different colors. It's very striking. It's more bold than those fairy dust colors we were looking at. Um, and so we have this peachy color and then we have 126, which is a lavender AB. And I think that was it. We, yeah, we just had the two ABs and the one fairy dust color. All of these gorgeous pastels. Now, if you find yourself, like you can see this bag looks like it has some static to it. The diamonds are really clinging to the side here. Um, if you run into static, I recommend cutting up a dryer sheet into squares. And you can actually, you know, when you go to kit up, you can tuck, you can cut open the bag, tuck one of those dryer sheet squares in there, kind of shake it around and that'll help kind of dispel some of the static before you try to pour it into a storage container. Um, alternatively, you can try to kind of breathe into the bags, kind of like the a, um, a humid breath like you'd give if you were trying to fog up a windshield or something, or a window, you know? Um, and I find that kind of adding that moisture helps with getting rid of um, some of the static as well. So we had those two AB colors, the light peach and the light lavender. And then we had the light blue fairy dust color. Let's find where those colors are going to go. So right off the bat down here in this corner, we have a nice big chunk of the light blue fairy dust. It's here as well, just a little bit of shimmer in the background. You'll be able to color block your way through that. And then here on, this is like the dragon's tail. It's almost these like feathered effects. Um, there is the peach AB is kind of this, yeah, this light pink color here. And it's all throughout these like feathered parts. It's like the lightest color you're seeing aside from sometimes there's white, but that is the peach AB and it's here and here, it's over here. And each of these little frills, it's in here as well. Yeah, all that little peach AB, I love that placement. And there's a little bit right here in the toe beans. Oh, that's so cute. Now the light lavender AB, I see we have right here and right here, as well as over here. And if we move up towards the top, let's see, we have some more of the light blue fairy dust right here. Oh, and I did miss this. Okay, so this light blue in the dragon's kind of scales and everything is actually, there's tons of light blue fairy dust all throughout the dragon's body. It's not the lightest blue, but it's like the next lightest blue. If you wanna see it up close, it's the dash symbol. It's like this one right here is the fairy dust color. <clears throat> so there's lots of that fairy dust all through the dragon, giving gonna give a little shimmer effect all around, including up here in it in their head and face. And then over here we have the number one, that's our light lavender fair, um, AB. And then the number two over here, that's our kind of light peach AB. So it's got the lavender, the peach, the peach again, and the peach over here. And then up here at the top, the number one, this is a bunch of the lavender AB. And I think, I think that about does it. I love the special drill placement. I love that even these beginner kits come with these beautiful special drills for people to enjoy and just see what Diamond Art Club can do. Um, this just, 
it's too adorable for words. I am really hoping I can work on this one sometime this year as the time of this filming it is the year of the dragon and I'm working on a lot of different dragon kits and dragon crafty things. And this just, it just seems like it would be a really nice little snack size kit to work on at some point uh, during the course of the year. So that is it for Sophia. We have four more kits to get to and I am gonna breeze over some of the um, other, you know, some of the common features between these kits. Um, but let me go ahead and pack this one up and move it to the side and I will grab our next kit. So next up, I thought we'd take a look at Peach Mushroom Twilight by Nathaniel Mortensen. And this was just a really fun one. I don't tend to gravitate towards landscapes, but there's something about this artwork that I really enjoyed. And um, so like I, I mentioned at the end of kind of the last kit that we were wrapping up, I, I am going to really not go into a lot of detail about the features on, you know, the boxes and the canvas and, and whatnot, just because, uh, you know, I don't know if that would feel really redundant. So if you're kind of skipping ahead and you're really curious to hear me talk about, you know, what's on the box, what's on the canvas, um, I would ask you if you wouldn't mind hopping back to the unboxing of the first kit, Sophia. And that's where you'll hear me really kind of walk through things. But really about everything about this kit should be about identical. So um, we're gonna have our toolkit. I'll tell you what, I'll pull that out and at least show you guys what the cover miner is. Cause I actually believe that that is something that a lot of you really enjoy when I've done these bigger haul unboxings. So let me just take a quick peek and I will show you. So we've got, there's the washi tape roll, it's a floral. And the cover minder, of course, it's all the way at the bottom. It is the pink dolphin. So that is what we got in our toolkit. <laughs> and then we're gonna have the same, you guys. Here's that registration card. I am gonna mention this each time just so you know, because that is something I don't want you to miss out on if you want. So 30 days of purchase is what it says. So, and then here is our smaller sticker and the kit itself. I feel like this is really the version of, this is the one scenario where I could see myself doing what's essentially a landscape. So there is that, that is, holy cow, you guys, you see this? 58 colors on this little canvas. Did not expect that to be the case. Uh, that's a high color count for a little kit like this. So I have a feeling we're gonna be looking at a lot of confetti. Let's take a look up close at the canvas. Again, we're skimming through some of the other features, but it is all gonna be the same as far as, you know, the canvas material. Oh, it does look like this one comes with the perforated cover as well. Um, this one definitely has a lot more colors than the other one did, and you can see. Uh, we are gonna have some, what I would really call like line blocking. Like if you take a look, like we've got a line of this, you can use a multi-placer through there and kind of doing some of these outlines. Uh, same kind of in the sky. So it's like, it's not exactly color blocking, but it's not pure confetti in some of these areas. Um, that is just, that is a lot of colors. I wonder if the color, like the bags, if it's just gonna be a bunch of really small amounts of color. <laughs> Uh, so this is really beautiful though. All those colors, like just warm, look at that warm and cozy vibe. 14 by 13 inches, 35.9 by 32.8 centimeters. It's, it's on the smaller ish side. It's still very much what I'd consider snack size. Um, but that is, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do a quick measurement. And we are at about 36 centimeters, which is listed as 35.9. You guys, Diamond Heart Club really, they get this about exact. Uh, almost 33 and we're listed as 32.8. So we're good to go there. Uh, here are, we have the same pamphlet as before. And then we have, here's our sticker sheet. If you wanna see the original artwork in a larger form. And again, 58 colors. As far as special diamonds go, looks like we're gonna have two ABs, these two color codes that are under the number 100. And then down here, it looks like we're gonna have two fairy dust colors. So glad we're gonna get some special drills in this one. Speaking of, let's take a look at these diamonds. There's our sticker and oh, just a nice compact little set of diamonds here. There's our color spread, very warm and cozy. The same features as before, you guys. The heat sealed bags with the DMC code printed on them. 
and um, sparkly round diamonds. I feel like twinkling, a twinkling effect is what I, I've heard a lot of people refer to it as. And I agree. Z3854, here's our first fairy dust color. It's pretty subtle, I'll zoom you in. But you can see that really fine and subtle glitter coating on there. That's, yeah, very subtle, but you can still kind of see it there. Mm -hmm. Every shade of brown and orange, oh my goodness. Here's our first AB color, 128. Again, these have that iridescent coating on the top. Bit more striking than the fairy dust colors, but absolutely gorgeous. Gonna dry your eye to the areas. It's been charted for sure. Warm and cozy earth tones. That's really how I'd describe this kind of color family we're working with. And yes, we do have, it looks like just these uh, little bags of these various colors. I haven't really seen like a giant bag of a particular color yet, I don't think. And they do, if you're curious, actually hold that thought because here's our second AB, 141. It's a white AB, very striking. They do put their diamonds roughly in order of weight, not by DMC code. So that's why as we're getting towards the end here, you'll see that we're getting to the diamonds, that we, the colors that we just have smaller amounts of diamonds in, including our second and final fairy dust color, Z3822. This is a really subtle light yellow fairy dust. Still see the glitter though. All right, that's the end of our strand. Let's take a look and see if we can find those special drills, especially that yellow color in particular. Uh, what symbols am I looking for? Okay, so the more peachy fairy dust, there's a little bit of it right here in the center of the flowers and the flower here. Um, it, is it anywhere else? It is, it is in parts of the sky. It's this kind of peachy orange color right here as well as over here and over here. That fairy dust is gonna give it just a subtle shimmer. And then our other fairy dust color, let's see, it's the plus symbol. I've seen some of these spots on the mushrooms. That's our pale yellow fairy dust. It's just sprinkled, if I bring you up close. It is the plus sign. It's in those little dots there. I don't think I see it anywhere else. I think it's just there. And then our ABs, you guys, so the black dot on the white background, that's our white AB. You'll find it over here in this flower. And there's a little bit of it right here. There's some of it right here. And then the light pink AB is the top of this mushroom, as well as it's the number one here, you guys. It's all throughout the top of this particular mushroom. So, and I don't see any more of the white AB. Okay, so that's where you're gonna find the special drills in this kit. And just be ready to have a lot of colors to work with, you guys, but this is really, really pretty. Uh, this again was Peach Mushroom Twilight by Nathaniel Mortensen, um, who has released a couple other kits with Diamond Art Club, I believe so far. And this one's 35 by uh, 32 or 36 by 33 in, um, centimeters in size, 58 colors with those two fairy dust, two ABs. This would be, this would be a, a cute one to kind of dip your toes in sort of landscape vibes. Let me pack this one up and I'll grab the third kit. All right, so next up, we're gonna take a look at Midnight Monacaneco. Apologies if there's a mispronunciation on my part. This is by Jeremiah Kettner and is too cute. I'm saying that about a lot of these kids, but I just, I have a type, what can I say? 32.8 by 40.9 centimeters, still that really beginner friendly size. And um, I I was excited to see this little snack size Jeremiah Kettner. I have a couple of kits of this artist's in my stash just from the regular Diamond Art Club website, but I haven't worked on any of them yet. Um, and there was just something about this nice little small size and I like the cute cat that I was really, I'm really drawn to. I'm curious if this is gonna be one that has a lot of confetti in it or if it's gonna have a little bit more in the way of color blocking. I feel like I've seen um, this artist's work you know, done as diamond paintings from Diamond Art Club and I feel like it has more in the way of color blocking, but we will find out together. There's their registry card again. Here is our little baby sticker. And I will grab the minder, let's see what minder and washi tape we got in this one. Looks like we got the dolphin again. Oops. And is that the same washi tape? That's funny. <laughs> 
But it's like it's like uh, it's like a blind bag, like a mystery box. <laughs> that's the that's the the minder and uh, washi tape with this one. Quick reminder that if you want to see me go through the different features of the box and talk about the canvas features in more detail, go ahead and hop back to the first kit that I shared with you guys. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. I love it. Let's roll it backwards again. <laughs> uh, or rather, like we did the others. Don't mind the black, uh, I have a black cat. We have black fur glitter everywhere. <laughs> So here's this kit. It definitely looks like it has that kind of more um, typical color blocking that I feel like you see with a lot of Jeremiah Kettner's kits. Cute kitty face, little toe beans again. Oh my gosh. I love the pretty night sky. I'm excited to see what special diamonds are going to be in this kit. Little mushrooms or toadstools down at the bottom. And this one's going to have 27 colors. And there is our licensing again down here. It does also come with the perforated plastic cover as well. You can see it there. And oh my gosh, those like deep blues and deep purples. So, so, so dreamy. Uh, we're going to have again the pamphlet as well as our larger sticker sheet. Uh, it looks like we're going to have two ABs in this kit, 27 colors in total, two ABs, two fairy dust, and three colors in the 6,000s range, some blues and purples that Diamond Art Club wanted to fill in and really do this, uh, this artwork justice. I feel like purples, I've heard, are one of the colors that are really a struggle when it comes to uh, the DMC color code system and what is available. So uh, quick measurement again. Yeah, my I think my measuring tape's about to go. That is okay. I think it was a freebie with something actually. <laughs> um, we're at almost 41 centimeters. It's listed as 40.9 that way. And then this way we're at uh, like 32 and a half and we're listed as 32.8. So call that true size as always. Little kitty is gonna hang out in the background while we take a look at these diamonds. Midnight Manakaneko. I should have looked up that, really, I should have looked up that pronunciation before I started this. Uh, but there is just, <laughs> so pretty the purples and blues all right so we've got our first special diamond right off the bat 129 is an ab color it's a pale yellow i'm gonna guess the moon and the stars and maybe the toadstool spots that's my guess for this one because we have a nice big bag of it so that's really going to stand out beautifully from the dark colors that's one of the things actually I enjoy about working on a dark color kit is often the special diamonds really, really pop against the dark color background. We have a little bit of 310. You guys, I'm realizing I don't think we had any 310 in the first two kits I unboxed with you. First little bag of 310 there. Um, here's our first fairy dust color, Z775. You can see that glitter coating even from here. It's a pale blue. Some more purples. And then, oh, this strand we have some bigger bags here you guys lots of this 820 that deep deep blue color and then my gosh look at this big bag of this fairy dust color z3746 that is a beautiful beautiful purple fairy dust color and we're just gonna have oodles of it i'm excited to find out where that one's gonna go because i don't really think i have a good guess we'll find out together in just a bit and then we do have our last special drill is gonna be 120. It's a blue AB. Gorgeous, maybe in the cat. Let's take a look. So uh, that pale yellow AB, yes, it's the spots in the toadstools. We're looking at the number two. Spots in the toadstools. It's actually, ooh, it's the cat's whiskers too. Cute. And then um, the moon up here and the pale yellow stars. That is yellow AB, little dots there too. And then the blue AB, you guys, is the number one. So it's kind of the underside of this, you know, cloud. And it's the number one, it's all throughout here in the cat's head and here. And it's this outline right here as well. Um, there's some in the cat's paws. Again, it's the number one, that's a blue AB. We had a big bag of that one. Uh, down here, the, oh, my cat's belly, so cute. And parts of the cat's legs are highlighted with the number one as well. 
and a little bit of cat's tail over here in the outline of this cloud. So plenty of that one. And then the fairy dust colors. Let's see, we're looking for the star and the letter P. Okay, so the light blue fairy dust is this outline here as well as this outline here and this outline here against the letter P. I think that's all the fairy dust that I see in that color. And then we have that big bag of purple fairy dust and it looks like it is this color right here is fairy dust. It's the star there, there, and then up here, it's this purple as well as this purple right here. Again, that's that star. Get ready to multi-place. You guys, this would be a great kit to practice multi-placing on if you have not tried multi-placing before. I have some tutorials for multi-placing as well. If you are curious and want some help and some tips and tricks, I will have those linked below too. But this could be, yeah, this is, I feel like, exceptionally beginner friendly with all the color blocking and, you know, it's not too overwhelming in terms of colors. And I think it would be a really nice introduction to ABs and fairy dust colors. So this is Midnight Mana Kaneko by Jeremiah Kettner. And um, yeah, you guys, this is so cute. Love it, love it. I'm gonna pack this one away and grab kit number four. And here I have New Moon by Kusin Kiesel. And I, I've seen a number of kits completed by this artist as well. And they're really breathtaking. And so I was really kind of drawn to this one. And I'm really curious to see, I feel like the special drills in this one, I just have a feeling are going to be really, really epic. So we're looking at round diamonds again at 32.8 by 50.7 centimeters, not too big. Again, with the round diamonds, same features on the box and whatnot, as we talked about at the very beginning of this video with the first kit. And we're going to take a look. I, again, like I was mentioning with the Jeremiah Kettner kit, we just looked at um, with these dark colors that seem to be really prominent in this the color palette of this kit I just have a hunch that the special drills are gonna pop really really nicely but let's let's find let's find out um, these I will say I have to be honest with you these big toolkits are like just it feels like they're just barely fitting in these boxes and really kind of they're pushing in the end of the canvases a bit I you know diamond art clip canvases I don't really worry about that damaging them it just it it bothers me a little bit I'm like no the poor canvas but um, you know the the trade-off though is that you are getting these more kind of comprehensive toolkits with more to them Let's see what our, okay, it looks like we got a purple rose cover minder there and then another floral. It looks like the magnets came off of that one. That has been happening with these, with some of the cover minders. It's happened to maybe, you know, four or five of the, you know, hundreds of kits that I've unboxed that the magnets haven't been attached. It's actually one of the reasons the Diamond Art Club is planning to discontinue um, carrying the cover minders with these diamond paintings. Um, but just so you know, if you get a cover minder that looks like that, you can just use some super glue, Gorilla Glue E6000. It will take care of that. It's a super, honestly, it's a very, very easy fix. So I'm not too bothered with it. Uh, here is the smaller sticker sheet for this one. This got a little bit crumpled too. Um, it's just a hazard of these like smaller kits, I think. So this one, oh my gosh, I'm going to put my money on her right now. I bet that that's going to be a special drill of some kind. All that white and the star and the moon and the sprinkles in the background. I would I would put money on it. I bet my diamond painting stash on it. <laughs> this is a heck of a piece. I don't have anything like this in my stash. This might be my first kit from this artist. And that looks stunning just from the printing on the canvas. Now, if it, I mean, and it always looks better when you actually have the diamonds on the canvas. Always, it looks better. So if it looks this good just from the printing on the canvas. I cannot even imagine how good it's gonna look with the diamonds. I love it. I'm seriously, you guys, that looks so good. Uh, here's the pamphlet again, and here's our sticker sheet. Uh, there's our original artwork, just gorgeous. Uh, it looks like 36 colors in total, two ABs. Okay, under the number 150. And then, ooh, yes, you guys, there it is. So we've talked about in this video, uh, color codes that start with the letter Z, that's gonna be a fairy dust color. Now, colors that start with the letter E, that is, I believe, gonna be our iridescent diamond. Editing Katie, I'm interjecting here because I am telling you the wrong thing um, right now, and I'm gonna cut it, cut it out and tell you, no, no, no. This drill color that we're about to see, this is gonna be a glow-in-the-dark color. That's what we're looking at here, okay. 
I need to see what that's gonna look like. But first, I'm gonna do a really quick measurement on this canvas and see what we're looking at. It's definitely more like long, like almost more like mini panel-like um, than the past ones have been. So it's, what did we say it was? This is a, almost 51 centimeters. We're listed as 50.7. And then comparatively, we've got mm, almost 33 centimeters. We're listed as 32.8. So yeah, just like kind of a little mini panel. Oh, let me show you the canvas really quick too up close. Uh, so we have some color blocking in the background, but then we have this like sprinkling. This is like the true meaning of confetti. <laughs> it's funny, you have these just individual diamonds. You'll be single placing those, but yeah, that's, I think that's an AB. We do have some kind of line blocking through here, kind of color blocking adjacent. That night sky, that background, we have a lot of color blocking there, Inter, intermixed with some sprinkled of diamonds. And then the moon is mostly one color. I bet that's gonna be our iridescent or crystal effect diamond, that and the star, I would bet. And then just that sprinkling of those diamonds. I, that's, it's just, I know it's gonna pop against that black background, that dark color background. That's gonna look amazing. Oh man, this wasn't really even on my radar to work on anytime soon, but it might be now. <laughs> Here's our diamonds, new moon. Though technically a new moon, there'd be no moon. <laughs> Uh, so, oh wait, no, you guys, I am wrong. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna have to go back and like add in a little note there, you guys. Okay, so anyway, this is a glow in the dark color and I have completed a kit with glow in the dark diamonds before and it is such a cool effect. You can charge these either by putting them outside under, you know, UV sun, sunlight rays, or if you have, I have like a UV light charger um, and it's not gonna show because we didn't you know, have sunlight, but they are gonna glow in the dark. And that is perfect. I don't see a lot of kits with glow in the dark diamonds in them. So that's really cool. I was wondering, I was like, I don't think I have this right with the, the letter that I'm telling you, but I'll have gone back and fixed it. So anyway. Here's our first fairy dust color, Z964, with that glitter coating on these. Kind of an aqua teal color. And some gorgeous blues. Here's our AB141. That is gorgeous. I bet it's going to be in the night sky. We have another one of these. Here's one of our 6,000 colors. This one's a pink, a little straggler. That happens. And then, oh no, oh, there's a bag of diamonds that's open. Shoot, do you see that little sprinkling there? Okay, I'm gonna go fix that in a minute. I'm pretty sure I see the color that those go with over there. Oh, that's a bummer. I'll just tape it up, no harm done. Uh, this is a good, I guess a good opportunity that I can mention that, hey, in case you didn't know, Diamond Archive does have a lifetime warranty on their kits. And if this, oh wait, I don't think it's, hmm, is that color? No, it's one of the colors in the other packet I saw it. Um, so if I were to like not have enough diamonds in that color, as long as I've registered this kit, I could contact them for replacements. 140, that's our other AB color. Nice blue. And some more greens and blues. Some browns. And just the colors we just have the smaller amounts of. There we go. Oh, another diamond. Oh no, that's just a, <laughs> I was like, I feel like I'm feeling diamonds everywhere. Okay, so let's find out what those special diamonds are going to go. So um, the white AB is the number two. I find that all sprinkled in that background there. Um, it's over here as well, again, the number two. And then our kind of light blue fairy dust. It's the plus sign, it's down here. Oh, this over here, this is white AB. And there's a little bit of that kind of aqua fairy dust over here. It's the plus sign, you guys, so it's through here. The number two is that white AB color again. More of that fairy dust here. And where is, this is a fairy dust color as well. No, it's not, sorry, 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 wrong or wrong. That's not a fairy dust color. Um, I don't have any glow in the dark yet. But again, we have, this is fairy dust, you guys, this plus sign. And let me see. I haven't seen the dark blue AB yet, right? Yeah, I have not. Mm, hold on, let me go back and check. Convinced that I missed it. Nope. Okay. 
oh, here it is. Here it is, it starts here. This is that blue AB color right there. It's number one. It's through here as well. The number one is right there. There's an outline of it right here. Uh, the number two over here is the white AB. And then now we're gonna start seeing some of the glow in the dark. This one, the black dot on a white background, that's glow in the dark. Uh, the whole moon is glow in the dark. <laughs> so um, if you have the lights on, it's just gonna look white. But uh, if you turn the lights off and it's charged, it's gonna glow. The star is that way as well. Um, we have the white AB sprinkled throughout the background. And then we have the number one actually outlining part of the moon down here. And it goes up here as well. And there's some of it over here. Um, some of the, this is blue AB here and here. Blue AB right there. And then there's some blue AB over here. Again, it's the number one. And it's on the underside of the moon right there. And then of course, like I said, sprinkling of white ABs is the number two. And then the dots are gonna be the glow in the dark. This is gonna be an eye-catching one, you guys. Dang, that looks good. <laughs> oh my gosh. So again, this was New Moon by Kusin Kiesel. And um, this one is really unique in that it has that glow in the, those glow in the dark diamonds. So anyway, gonna pack this one up. We've got one left to go. And finally, we have Arctic Fox by Rita Konya. Uh, this is one, like I said, I bought a little while back and I just, I love foxes. What can I say? Foxes and dragons, this kit, this uh, haul video is uh, showcasing a few of my favorite things. This one's gonna be 32.8 by 40.6 centimeters. Really, all these kits are at a really similar size point. Um, and I think I have seen this one completed and it's really, really cute. I actually, a while back, also bought the uh, DP with Sparklers, the um, enhancement drill pack they've started doing enhancement drill packs for specific kits from a variety of companies and I actually love it because if you're like me and you actually don't necessarily enjoy trying to figure out what kinds of enhancements you might want to do with your kits this takes the guesswork out of it and gives you those ideas and tells you where to place them and tells you what colors you can just you can buy the package um, as is and oh did I cut right through that whoops <laughs> and so I bought that a while back and I think I unboxed it in a small shop haul but I just hadn't actually gotten around to unboxing this kit, but we're here today. We're here today. Um, so again, we've got you know, the warranty card. We have our little sticker here and then our toolkit. Last one to see what, what minder and washi tape did we get? Okay, we got, oh, that's a cute minder. It's a little flower and another floral washi tape. All right. So cute. And then I'm excited to see this canvas and it's been a while since I unboxed the, um, the special drill pack that goes with it. And so I can't remember what all the enhancements were, but it'd be fun to work on that someday. Oh, that's so cute. It's little, oh, that's adorable. Okay, let's roll it backwards and we'll take a look at the, the canvas here. Just a last reminder that again, if you wanna see me talk about the various features of the canvases and kits, I'll point you back to the first kit that we unboxed where I went over that in more detail. Look at that cute little fox face. You guys, we do have some color blocking in this kit, but there's quite a lot of, if you look like over here, there's a lot of confetti going on there. So a mix of both in this one, it looks like. Look at those fox whiskers. And these pretty plants down here. Some color blocking in like the fox and the shading on the fox's body and fur. There's that. So cute. Let's take a look at the colors that are gonna come with this one. There's that original artwork. It's adorable. Okay, so we're gonna have uh, three ABs in this one and one fairy dust, 31 colors in total. So not totally overwhelming as far as number of colors goes. Let's, uh, last, last one to measure. And we're at, okay, uh, about 40 and a half inches, uh, centimeters, sorry, or this is 40.6. And then this way we are at uh, almost 33 centimeters and we're listed as 32.8. Okay, let's look at the diamonds. Hope that there aren't any loose diamonds in this one. So far, so good. There's a pretty color spread. Dark colors and then the nice pops of oranges and browns. All right, so we've got, the printing on these looks, the numbers are smaller. I don't know, little things that you notice when you unbox a lot of kids. 
they look like the usual kinds of round diamonds from Diamond Art Club, so. <laughs> uh, pretty colors, no special drills yet. Oh, by the way, this kit um, did not come with a perforated plastic cover. Again, it's from a little while back, so uh, maybe, maybe a few months back, so yeah. Um, where are those special drills at? I'm watching for them. Here's the first one, 120. There's our first AB color. Nice kind of, it's almost a Tiffany blue. Not quite. And 140, okay, so we've got these two blue ABs. <laughs> this one's a little bit darker. And then here's our fairy dust color. I love that fairy dust color. It's so pretty, so pretty. And then there is our third AB, 117. It was just a little beige. Maybe in the light parts of the fox's face, that'd be my guess. And there we go, there's the end of our 31 colors. Okay, so as far as the special drills, we have uh, that really gorgeous kind of teal fairy dust is in parts of the plant leaves here. If you wanna see it up close, it's the letter T. So it's just gonna give a little shimmer to those leaves. There's some of it in these leaves down here. And then over here in this leaf, the number two, that is, let's see, that is our lighter blue AB, I believe. And then the number three is our darker blue AB. Number three is through there as well. Number two, that's our lighter blue AB is through some of these leaves. And the number one was that kind of light taupe AB. It's, you know, the light parts of the fox's fur there. We also have some of the dark blue, darker blue AB over here in these leaves. Again, we're looking at the number three. I like that because in the original artwork, the leaves and the plants here really stand out really nicely. Uh, we have the number one here on the fox's face, those lightest parts. So just a little bit extra sparkle for the fox's face. There's one, one on the tip of its nose. That's adorable. <laughs> and then I don't see any special drills up here towards the top, but I am so curious. I don't remember what the special drills were that came with the pack that I got from DP with Sparklers. I will try to go back and find that unboxing so you can take a look and at the very least I will link to that enhancement kit if you're curious to try it out for yourself. But this was Arctic Fox by Rita Konya and another really, really cute and beginner friendly kit, you guys. These common theme with all these kits really, which uh, speaking of which, hold on, I'll be right back. So like I said, speaking of, here are the five kits that we uh, took a look at together today. I will link to the Amazon storefront for Diamond Art Club. They do occasionally uh, discontinue kits that sell out through the Amazon storefront. So I generally suggest that if you see one that you love, go ahead and pick it up. And also be sure to check back regularly because they don't do like a big announcement necessarily like they do for their standard weekend releases. Uh, they don't do a big announcement when they restock or, or put new releases in the Amazon shop. Um, if you're in like the Diamond Art Club VIP Facebook group or other diamond painting Facebook groups, you'll often see people post about it in those groups when they notice restocks going up because a lot of us really enjoy checking back regularly for um, surprises like that. So that's what I would suggest if you want to kind of be keeping an eye out for new releases like this. I just feel like these, these scratch and itch and they, they fit a really nice niche for if, you know, if you're looking for not huge kits to work on, or if you're newer to diamond painting and just want to get a feel for if the craft is for you, or, you know, really, if you haven't ever tried diamond art clubs kits before, or you want to introduce someone to diamond art clubs kits, this I feel like is a really nice way to go. They even have a number of even smaller kits on their Amazon storefront. Um, if you really want to start out small, like I'm talking like 12 by 12 inches, like really little ones, um, or even smaller, like they have some nine by nine inch ones, itty bitty. Um, but this is, I feel like just a nice way to kind of dip your toes in. And for me, these kits are really going to be um, just when I need something smaller to work on, I want the satisfaction of like finishing a kit relatively quickly, or at least more quickly than a large kit. I like having some round drill kits in my stash because I feel like a lot of new releases lately on Diamond Art Club's website have been squares. And so this just, it fills a gap in my diamond painting collection and really works well for me for if I'm, like I said, the different, these kinds of things that I might be looking for um, as I'm diamond painting. So you guys let me know what you think. Did you pick up any of the recent new releases from Diamond Art Club's Amazon store or have you you know, have you ever checked them out before? Even if it wasn't this round of releases, let me know what your favorites have been or if you're going to go do some shopping 
now. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was fun to get a peek at some of these kits together and uh, feel free to subscribe as well. I'd love to have you here. I do a lot of diamond painting content. Unboxings like this, I try to do reviews and tutorials. I do weekly whip and chats. And I actually, um, I usually am doing weekly sneak peeks for Diamond Art Club standard weekend releases if you want to get a look, um, an early look at what those canvases look like so you can decide if you want to be shopping over the weekend. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate you an awful lot. And I hope that you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.